Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Phil. So today, this is episode 3 of my breakfast series, Day of Dining, where I prepare, cook, and eat Filipino food during my days off. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start the video. Hope you're having a great day everyone so today this is episode 3 of day of dining where i'm gonna have another round of breakfast with another viand as you watch in the previous video we focused on tocino which is cured sweet pork but today we will be featuring another viand which is filipino style sausages and this is a special recipe from my grandma's sister who we also call granny so let's get cooking after preparing the basics such as my coffee, myself, green spring onions, sliced red onions, and tomatoes, as well as the condiments on the side, let's start to cook and prepare these Filipino-style sausages. First up, shout out to my grandma for preparing me these Filipino-style sausages. Longaniza is a Spanish term for sausages, and it refers to sausages flavored with indigenous spices. There are numerous kinds of sausages in the Philippines, usually unique to a specific region from where it is from. Since my family hails from the northern regions of Ilocos and Abra, the sausage I'll be featuring here is the recipe of my grandma's sister, Granny Consuelo. This is heavily influenced by Ilocano or vegan Longaniza, which uses lots of vinegar. And all I can say, for my grandma's recipe, it's 100% garlic and 60% fat, which is very, very delicious. And as you can see, as I started to fry it, the oil started to liquefy and come out of the sausages. So uh, you have to fry them at low heat and you can cover them from time to time in order to steam them, but not too much because these sausages are best when they are lightly fried. And as you can see here, because of the fat content of these sausages, you can see more oils come out of the frying process. And as you're frying them, just move them from side to side so as not to burn one side and uh, just toast them to your desired doneness. Well, for me, I prefer the skin to be a little bit more toasted, crispy, and a little bit burnt. And that crust on the skin is delicious. So, let's have a taste of these sausages. And you can probably see that uh, there's more fat content in these sausages and it makes it very decadent. All I can say, again, it's 100% garlic and 60% fat. Delish! And I decided to prepare some vinegar as well. Since the sausages are really fatty but very delicious, the acidity of the vinegar balances out the flavors of the fat. And uh, after preparing some of the condiments, there was so much oil that came out from those sausages that I decided to fry my egg in that oil to add more flavor. So. Let's go to the fried rice. After preparing some minced garlic beforehand, I saved some of the oil to use it for this fried rice. So just place your garlic in and just continue stirring to prevent it from burning. So after toasting your garlic to your desired doneness, just add the rice. Then some adobo seasoning, then some salt, add some pepper if desired, and finally some soy sauce. 
So, keep on moving the rice as you stir fry them in the pan. Just break off the clumps as you go. I like my rice to be extra crispy and toasted. So, I just increase the time as I'm stir frying them in the pan. And let's have a taste. And as always, it's delicious. So, it's really nice to eat when the stir fried rice is uniform and you can feel every grain of rice. So let's set up this long silog or uh, the breakfast term for longanisa, egg and rice and let's get eating. And you can even see some of the fat globules here in this longanisa. Really delicious, really fatty, really decadent. And uh, I added more vinegar in order to balance out the richness of that fat. And basically, it's a complete breakfast for your protein, fats, carbohydrates, and of course, your vegetables. The first bite of this was truly delicious, because after adding some vinegar, you can really taste the garlic that was blended here with the meat and the fat. And those are the rich pieces of meat right there. And these vegetables such as the onions, spring onions and the tomatoes complement the star of the show which are the meats. And this piece has more fat than usual, which is still delicious. And adding more vinegar just makes everything better. The thing is, even if the longaniza is really fatty or really sweet, as in some varieties of sausages, the vinegar just balances out the richness of the flavor, whether it's sweet or fatty. And that's the rice that I'm looking for, with some burnt garlic and toasted rice pieces. And this was my second plate already, and since I was very hungry, I really had to chow down both of these plates. And that was a good breakfast indeed. Thank you for watching this video and I really do hope that you enjoy it and thank you for your continued support and as always, like, comment and subscribe. See you later in the next video guys. Take care.